Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to do a book haul for you. These are all books that I have brought from either online or in a book retailer. I'm going to have a book haul part two, which I will leave linked below. That's going to be all the books that I've brought from charity shops, but that one isn't up yet. So do keep an eye out for that if you're interested. So the first book that I brought this month was Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Now I read this book whilst I was on holiday in Lanzarote in the middle of August and I can honestly say this is my new favourite book. So basically it follows two different stories, one of Eleanor and one of Park, of whom are completely different kind of, completely opposite people. So Eleanor's kind of like the geeky new girl at school that no one really wants to talk to, Park's quite like a cool popular boy. Um, and they basically get thrown together on a bus and they have to sit next to each other and they basically fall in love so it's kind of like a stereotypical like bad boy good girl kind of relationship thing um, but it's so lovely and I love the fact that there's like different perspectives as well so each character's got their own backstory and their own things going on in their lives um, and then they have this one story together and I think it's honestly beautiful um, this book was so easy to read I just kept flying through it and every time I put it down I was like no, I need to get it again. And that was it, I picked it back up again. So I really, really recommend this one. It was about £8, £7.99. Um, and I believe I got this one from WH Smith and there was a two for £10 offer. So I got this one in that and it's really, really good. So I really, really recommend this one. So following on on the theme of Rainbow Rowell, I also picked up Fangirl this week. Um, I picked this one up from Asda Living and it was only £3.95, so I thought that was a bargain considering it retails at the same price as Eleanor and Park. Um, I'm only a few pages through this, I'm on chapter 6, so I haven't read a huge amount of, of detail into this book, but everyone is raving about this. There are a lot of mixed opinions, some people saying they didn't get on with it, some people saying that they did. So far, I'm really, really, really liking it. I love the whole moving to a new college or university, settling in, making friends. I love watching videos about that, so I love reading about that as well. Especially as I'm like, kind of going through the same age as them, and university is something that I'm thinking about, so reading books like this is really, really exciting. Um, I'm not going to go too much into any of these books because I haven't read any of them other than Eleanor and Park, so these are all my new September book haul. Um, but so far, from what I've read, I would recommend this one. So the next book that I picked up this week was Jodie Pickle and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lines. This is a mother and daughter novel, um, and I bought this off Amazon for about £3, maybe £4, I'm not really sure. Um, I haven't heard much about this book other than one other review by Katie, who I'll leave her below, or Kat, because she's she's amazing, she's such a good booktuber, seriously, watch her. Um, I'm basically the reading a novel and then the main character from the novel kind of steps out of the novel, which I find really exciting and apparently there's a YouTube channel linked to this book, so I'm definitely going to have to check that out because it looks amazing and this book looks really interesting to read because there's different like illustrations throughout the book that kind of link to what's being said and done and uh, I haven't actually read one of those before so I'm really really looking forward to reading that one. Okay so the next book that I picked up was I Am A Witch and Witches Burn by Josephine Angelini. Now I picked this one up from Asda again for £3.95 um, and I also brought Witches Do Not Die Quietly which is otherwise known as Firewalker and Trial By Fire. I actually picked up this one first, believing this was the first book, because <laughs> I'm an idiot, um, and then obviously opened it and saw that it was the second book, so then I had to go back and buy this book. But considering they both retail for £8, getting them both for £6 was like ridiculously amazing. Um, I haven't read either of these, but I've heard really, really great things online um, from different people with reviews, so I'm really looking forward to reading them. There's not a huge amount of detail as to what happens within them, um, but I do like books about witches. Um, I haven't really read a lot, but um, the ones I have read I do really like. And I really, really like the cover, because look. Look. Make the girl. See? See? So, really excited to read those. And, yeah. The next book that I've picked up this month was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I've heard so many reviews about this book and the Throne of Glass series, so I thought, that's it, I need to read them. 
Um, a lot of people are talking about Queen of Shadows, which I believe is the last one that's just come out, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, because people are raving so much about that and about the series, I was like, that's it, I need to read it, and I did. Um, or at least I brought it. The cover, can we just take a moment to appreciate this cover? I think it's absolutely beautiful, and I love books that are, like, white. I don't know. Anyway, beside the point. Um, this one was about 4 95 from Amazon. Um, I haven't read the back because this is a kind of book that I would never ever normally go for at all and I think if I read the back I'm almost scared that it might put me off so I'm not going to read the back. That's my plan and I'm just going to dive straight into it when I finished Fangirl. So yeah, really, really looking forward to reading that one. The next book that I have brought this month was The Diviners by Libba Bray. This one has literally been on my list since it came out. So basically it's set in New York and if any of you know me, you know that I went to New York in March and absolutely fell in love with the city. So any books about New York now, I'm like, gimme, I wanna read it. Um, I don't know why this one intrigued me so much because again, it's a kind of book that, you know, about powers and, and I don't really, really read books like that. I mean, my favourite kind of books are like comedy, romance, kind of like Eleanor and Park, Fangirl. That's the kind of books that I, I tend to stick to. Um, but seeing as everyone spoke about this book so highly, I just, I had to get it. Basically, this is everyone else's fault because I just, every time I see a book, I want it and that's it. That's the end of it. So, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to reading this one. I don't know which order I'm going to read any of these in, but I don't know if any of you have seen the hardback cover of this, it's absolutely beautiful, um, but it's coming to the end of the month, well it's not, but I've already run out of money, and I couldn't afford the hardback cover, uh, the, the paperback was cheaper, so I went with the paperback. Um, even though the paperback is beautiful, I'm definitely going to have to buy the hardback as well, because I really like okay. it. And the final book that I have brought this month is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I was so stuck out of which of the three books by Stephanie Perkins to buy. So you know there's this one, there's Anna and the French Kiss and Isla and the Happily Ever After. And I couldn't decide, I was like right I'm only having one because if I don't like her style of writing, I don't feel like I understand the story then I'm not going to understand her other ones, I'm not going to like her other ones. So I was like we're just going to buy one and be sensible with our budget. So that's what I did, and I went with this one. Um, this one appealed to me the most because I think she's quite relatable. For example, I absolutely love fashion design, outfit design, stage design, that kind of thing, which Lola likes, which it says on the back here. And basically these, these twins move in next door to her, um, one of whom she had history with, and it all gets brought back up. And I quite like a twisted romance, it's a bit like awkward and difficult, and I quite like that. So that's the reason why I went with this one. However, Lola and the Happily Ever After is set in New York, so I kind of wish I brought that one. But I've read the first chapter of this, I, I kind of just read it when I first got it because I was like, I just want to know whether I'm going to like it or not, and so far... I, it's easy to understand, it's easy to read, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. So that's it for my shop book haul. Um, I brought too many books this month and hopefully next month I won't buy as many, but I probably will. <laughs> um, I will leave all these books linked in the down bar below so you can go and check them out if you want to have a little look. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.